Hey there, everybody. So, uh, Happy New Year, first of all. I didn't say that on the stream last night, and I was very negligent. So, Happy New Year, everybody. I'm um, having again Yellow Brick Road. I want to see if I can beat this game. It seemed like I was like almost two two thirds of the way through the game based on the walkthrough from yesterday. So, and I what I'm going to do now is uh, I would not, I, first of all I looked up how to beat the fight from last night, and once I looked it up, I was able to beat it in one second. So if I get to any more fights, I'm not going to mess around. I'm just going to go to the walkthrough and look it up because the problem is like it's reasonable to ask you to use tactics to beat a fight in an adventure game. The problem is because it's real time and because it's just too fast there's really no way to do it properly so i'm just gonna load up this battle and just start going at it and hopefully i can do it i did it last night look at this oh wait hold on i hold on, hold on. I do it again there we go it's pretty simple actually i think what you Understand the, the technique. He's already done that guy. And what was it now? The oh, the flute. That's right. And what he didn't know is that the, the lion could also use the flute. And so by taking turns, they recover. And he can summon mice, apparently, for some reason. And this flute is very effective against both of these guys, so... This will lead to a pretty decisive victory very quickly. See that? I mean, I'm messing around because I'm, like, drinking and stuff instead of playing... Oh, come on, what's going on here? All right, now I'm actually going to bat it down and finish it off here. I wish you could, like, load up your attacks in advance, but you can't. <laughs> Come on, this guy. Stop. The guy on the left seems like, in every battle, he, he retreats, he advances super fast. It takes like 20 steps forward before you have a chance to do anything. And in the, in the Saturn version, which the guy was doing on the walkthrough, it was much easier to use the items. Like, if you use it through the menu, you don't have to actually drag it with the mouse, so it takes less time to actually use it. But this guy's still almost done. So I decided to do an early stream today because people are busy. It's New Year's Eve. I wasn't going to stream today at all, but I just really want to get this game over with and see what the end looks like. Okay, that guy's done. Now just one more idiot we got to deal with. You see, how are you supposed to know? You have to have the lion jump at the guy in the middle and then use the flute on these other two guys. It's just try It would have been trial and error. I would have done it eventually. It would have taken me a freaking long time, which I don't really want to spend, so... Especially, I want to keep the stream today, like, at, like, maybe a little more than an hour at most. I'm hoping I can beat the game in that amount of time. Mice. Birds. It makes sense that the Scarecrow would summon crows, but, like, I don't know how, why the lion would summon mice. It's like the... Is there a fable with like the lion had like a thorn in his paw and the mouse helped him get it out or something? That's all that I can think of. Okay, leave. You're done. Yay. We win! But you know how to do it. Woohoo! Wait a minute. There's a crystal bottle on the table. We should take it with us. Okay, let's do that. A crystal bobble. Of course, it can be used during battles. What you what you expect? That goes in the inventory. I have another stupid item. But even better, I got a key. 
if I can click on it, I'm going to close this first. Key. And it opens again. You now have the key to the royal chamber. Try to unlock doors. I mean, should I try to roll the locked doors or just the freaking royal chamber? Actually, there's actually a nice thing that happens now. Hey, Ryan, how you doing, man? Happy New Year. Missed you yesterday when I was playing this this game. Um, yeah, I wanted to do it early because I know people, a lot of people have plans tonight. I wanted to try to just knock this out and, and get it done. So, and I have, have, have some stuff to do. So I get this nice full motion video sequence. I, I did this part last night. Like, I didn't do anything beyond this. <laughs> Gonna miss 2020. Great year. Yeah, it was really great. <laughs> I'm actually sending out New Year's emails to different people saying, like, you know, the year sucked, but next year hopefully it'll be a lot better. Alright, come on, what now? Can I use my key? This is really scary. It's like a haunted house. I want to get out of here. We can't leave. We're finally going to meet Glinda. Finally. Yeah, finally is right. Alright, so it tells me basically use the key. I don't have to fight every single person in this door. space. It's a great year for Jeff Bezos. Yeah, I'm sure it was. Great year for, for a bunch of people that, you know, great year for toilet paper scalpers, I guess. Alright, so do I get to go in here now? Yes, looks like I do. Is that Glinda? Looks like nothing. Uh-oh. Oh, it's the Wizard of Oz head. <laughs> Quilted Northern, how you doing? What? I have to fight the Wizard of Oz now? His left hand, his right hand. At least he advances slowly. Alright, screw this though. I'm gonna just look up a walkthrough. I don't wanna... I don't wanna have to deal with this. I'm keeping my promise. There was this. Quilted Northern made his fortune scalping Quilted Northern. Yeah, potentially. Hold on. I'm just looking up the next battle just in the walkthrough. Which is the video walkthrough. Oh, let's see, what does he do? The battle data is all in Japanese. That's what you stuffed your mattress with. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, okay, here we go. What does he do? What was that? Oh, he's the. They're all using the water that we just got in the previous thing. The Tin Man and the, and the Scarecrow are using the magic water that's on the guy's hands. For some reason, that does something. You'll see in a second. I like sleeping on a cloud. Yeah, this is so dumb. I'm really glad that we're not that I'm, that, that I'm not figuring this out. But I guess the line does nothing this time. All right, now. Skip. Now using the water on the head. Literally, that's all it is. All right. So this is okay. Let's 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 do it. Wow, this is dumb. All right, here we go. 1995, the year I, I graduated. Oh, this is the, this is the year of this game, eh? Okay. Here we go. Alt F9. Oh, come on. If I can actually do it properly, we'll see. Get up. Ah, come on! Alright. No one wants to do it actually pulling it off. It's two different things, apparently. Apparently all you do is use just water on these guys. That's already gone. Why do they go cod, yo? See, so yeah, aren't we glad that I used to walk through to figure this out? 
I actually try to use the crowd or all these other stupid weapons that don't do anything. What happened? You dumb jerk. Why'd that go back into the inventory? Come on. Ah, oh, that man. Uh, alright. The interface really sucks. That's the other problem with this. No, take the damn thing. Come on. Almost got that hand out of the picture. Get up! The hand's still there. Wow. I can't believe the goddamn hand is still there. Come on. Ah! Man. Finally. I guess I didn't get close enough to get me. No, no, what did you do that for? Fool, do what I tell you to do. I mean, I don't even know what this water's doing. Like, why is the why is the wizard head attacking you? Why is the water hurt the wizard head? Like, why does any of this stuff happen? It makes no sense. That's the problem here. Uh, or at least it's almost done. Come on. This would be much easier with keyboard controls, actually. No, what are you doing? Why does sometimes it doesn't work? That's the other problem, really. If it worked every time, this would be over already. Finally! What are you doing for New Year's, Quilted Northern? Ryan wants to know. Quilted Northern's probably getting ready for a huge, massive party at Quilted Northern's house. Uh, no, I assume the Maker's never read or saw Wizard of Oz. Okay, I guess that's Glinda? Oh, that's the don't wizard. Me. I'll give you this palace. I'll even be the gnome king's slave. Just don't hurt me. We don't want to hurt you, dumbass. I'm telling you again and again, we're not. The scarecrow came to see Princess Glinda. We're not working for the gnome. Arr. You're not with the gnomes? Then why are you fighting me? Like we've been you telling Keep attacking you. us, jackass. We didn't intend to fight you. Your guards attacked us. We had to protect ourselves. Let us see Princess Glinda. The princess <coughs> disappeared. Did she run away? I'm sure she didn't run away. The princess was very worried about the Gnome King. She wouldn't have left us to face him alone. I think part two Why of this game is like that? fighting Glinda or something. Princess Glinda hates violence. She must be trying to find a peaceful way to deal with the Gnome King. Good idea. Why don't we think of it? Can you wait with me here in the palace until Princess Glinda returns? I don't mind, but my friends... Let's wait here until Princess Glinda comes back. What do you think, Lion? Arr. The Lion says he'll stay. Oh my god, that's so bad. About you? What do you say, F you? You probably want to go home, but you can't without the slippers. Oh, he's talking to me. This has been the end of the game, I wonder. I didn't steal them. I found them on the road. With these slippers, you can go back to your world, right? I You're think going. so. We'll miss you. Is this over? See? A lion is saying... I don't miss you guys. You guys are a bunch well, of freaking morons. Home, we won't try to stop you. 
But please come back again soon. We'll be here. Wow. Thank you for all of your help. Please come again to the Emerald City. Wow. Your friends await you. Wow. Seriously? Wow. What are you guys saying? I'll read it afterwards. I just, I, I'm just in, in, in awe here. This seems like it's the end of the game. Like, it's like, like I said, there's three games. Only the first one was in English. The second two are only in Japanese. But it looks like there's supposed to be probably one game. They split into three because this is so damn short. And then the story's not even over. It's like, we have to wait for Glinda to come back. Uh, why don't you go home in the meantime and you can come back for the next game. I mean, if that's really what's going on, which I think it is, that's a freaking ripoff. But then again, don't forget everybody, this is a very rare and expensive game. <laughs> I'm going to sell my copy on eBay after this, so I don't want the value to go down because I'm saying the game sucks. The value of this game should stay sky high, so whoever buys my copy can pay me lots of money. But, you know, you're paying for the rarity, not for the, the quality. Just remember that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Scarecrow looks like a nightmare. Yeah, no kidding. Scarecrow does look like a nightmare. Oh, this is, this is, I guess this is Kansas again. What, they spent so much money on this freaking cinematic. Why couldn't they like, spend money on like having a game? Even the game there was, there was no actual puzzles. This is like barely an adventure game. It's really like a combination of walking simulator and like very bad real-time RPG. I'm seeing the inside of my house. I'm not even touching it. It's, it's going automatically. Now I'm playing tarot cards. Is that Princess Glinda? Why does she have, like, wings? Well, she doesn't. What ha What's going on? She's turning into... I don't know what's going on. This is, like, the intro cinematic from Game 2. We never saw Glinda, Colton Norton said. I think this is her. Her hand looks like a real hand. Like a man hand. I just freaking left. I just freaking left. Why'd you send me home if you were about to show up? What is that so far away? I can't see what that is. Is that oh that's they're walking on the road? To be continued. You son of a bitch! What a what a blow to crap! Oh my god. What are you guys saying here? Hanging out with my family, you take out drinking champagne, hanging out with family, drinking big tacos. What am I up to? I had Chinese, and I'm just hanging around. Make a massive tour to person bar without masks. Wow, wow, wow. Well, I, do, I, I was going to max this stream out like an hour or so, but it's 18 minutes in. What just happened? He fell on his ass? It's 18 minutes in, and the game is over. Because the game sucked. I hate to say it, but wow. How could they have a... Oh, hold on. Basically, that game, if you knew what you were doing, it actually ends on a white screen, or I got like credits or something. If you knew what you were doing in this game, the whole game would have been, I think, maximum half hour long, and that's being generous. So let's... What, what did we do? We found the Tin Man, found the Lion, fought two guys... Had to go backwards for some reason and went to a boat that was never clued. Then we fought two more guys. Then we fought three more guys and got a key. And then we fought three more guys. Like, the only puzzle was, like, opening those cabinets to find where the key was. And using the key to unlock the door. I mean, like, literally that was it. So... That explains why their playthrough on YouTube was 37 minutes. I thought the other playthrough on YouTube was 37 minutes the guy shot himself in the middle because he was so bored. But, I mean, the thing is, like, it's okay for a game to be short if it's fun and good, but this game was... It was okay. It wasn't, like, completely not fun, but it was barely a game. That's the problem. The only part that was really a game was the combat, and the combat was really impossible to figure out without like without massive trial and error, which didn't really give you an opportunity to do. And then 
if I, if you knew what to do and you just did it, then it was super easy. So, except for the fighting with the interface. But, yeah, I mean, very short, very, very nothing. I mean, it was it's a bad game. If I had to rate this game, I would say it's a D. And if it wasn't like a Wizard of Oz game, probably, probably closer to an F. <laughs> but... I, it's okay. It's cute, I guess. I mean... This game is worth a lot of money, everybody. Go out and buy it. Go on eBay and buy this game. It's a really great... <laughs> I'm laughing at Colton Northern. It's a fitting way to end 2020. <laughs> Look how it just died in a, in a white screen, too. Oh, now it went back to Windows, finally. I, I mean, like... Yeah, it is a fitting way to end 2020. Well, on that note, since it's a fitting way to end 2020, I didn't intend to stream today. I just wanted to make a, do a quick thing here. I wish everybody Happy New Year. Um, I'll plan to come back again on Saturday night with something else, not an adventure game. Maybe this, maybe this Star Trek game that I that I showed the other day. I might, I might do this. Uh, but regardless, Happy New Year, everybody! I hope everybody has a really great 2021, and it's much better than this year was. And everybody gets lots of games. <laughs> if I autographed it, it would, it would double the price. Ryan says, "Yeah, double the price from zero to zero. No, no the truth is, it's 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 a, it's a very hard to find game. I think the lesson that I'm learning here is that most games that are rare, if they're after your 1990, probably are rare because they sucked, and therefore nobody bought them, and that's why they're rare. Maybe if it's like a 1980 you know, it was a 1978 game, then you know it's probably rare because everyone threw it out. But like after 1990, probably they're rare because they suck. So here's a good example of a game that's rare, in my opinion, because it sucks. But having said that, I strongly encourage all people who love adventure games to add this to your collection, because just to have a trophy game on, on the shelf, you know, it's really important. And I, I, I need to sell my copy, so, you know, <laughs> hopefully some sucker will go buy it. The good thing is nobody watches this anyway, so somebody who doesn't watch this th these videos will go buy it off eBay, hopefully. Happy New Year, Quilted Northern. Happy New Year, Ryan. Happy New Year, everyone else who, who joins the chat, you know, regularly, like Matt and Jeremy and uh, lots of other people. Hopster Key, Extreme Rec, Extreme Rec 2000. Um... Who else? Uh, Venture Game Geek. A lot of people that, that have that have been here a lot. Uh, Eric. Just, uh, I'm sure I forgot a lot of people, but thanks everybody for being here. Oh, Jeremy just joined just in time for me to thank him. So, hey, Jeremy. <laughs> Round two is over already. The game sucked and it's done and we're signing off. But Happy New Year, everybody. We'll come back on Saturday night with a better game in 2021. And everyone's going to have a really great 2021 filled with vaccines and health, and happiness, and travel, and wealth, and all the good things for all you guys in life. I'm wishing over over to all of you. So, have a great night. Enjoy watching the ball drop. Maybe it's a good year to go to Times Square. It may not be too crowded. <laughs> have a great night, everybody. So long, folks.